Today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful sourdough bread with blueberries and lemon. Sweet, sweet blueberries and fragrant lemon zest. Oh my. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sourdough bread that's a little bit different than other sourdough breads. Right now in Denmark it's late summer and the greengrocers are overflowing with delicious ripe berries. I love all kinds of berries, but blueberries are one of my favorites. So I thought I'd use them in a loaf of bread. This bread is inspired by American blueberry pancakes, and uh, it's the first part of my mini-series Blueberry and Sourdough. The next part will be on my channel next week. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. My quest is to get the most out of every ingredient and my goal is to teach you how to do that in simple and understandable steps. So join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. So this bread is made with 100% bread flour for a very soft crumb. Added to that is a staggering 250 grams of fresh blueberries and the zest of three organic lemons. Remember, if you use lemon zest, you should always use organic lemons. You don't want to end up eating your residual pesticides. Also, most citrus fruits are waxed to protect their skin and make them look good. This wax isn't dangerous, but it doesn't taste very good, so be sure to wash your lemons thoroughly under warm water. Just thinking about this bread makes me want to have a piece. So let's get started with the recipe. The written recipe, the ingredients, and the amounts are linked in the description. First, we start out by making a levain, and uh, we mix 50 grams of sourdough starter. One hundred grams of bread flour. and 100 grams of water. Put it into a jar with straight sides and uh, mix it very well. Put an elastic band around the jar to where the mixture comes up to so that you can monitor the growth. Put it somewhere warm until it's doubled. Then the second thing we need to do in the morning is uh, auto-lease the flour. Start by adding 723 grams of bread flour to a bowl. Pour in 429 grams of water. Start mixing by putting two fingers in the middle of the bowl and uh, making a circular motion. Pick up more flour little by little uh, until it becomes so thick that uh, you can start folding it. Then you fold the dough in over itself and you keep going until all the flour is hydrated. Put a damp dish towel over top and let the mixture sit until we're mixing the dough. Once the levain has doubled, we are going to mix the dough. Grab the bowl with the autolise flour and uh, measure out 180 grams of levain on top. Sprinkle in 18 grams of sea salt and add 50 grams of water. Dimple the levain into the dough and start by folding the dough in over itself. Keep going until it's very well combined. Leave the dough to rest for 30 minutes under a damp dish towel. Zest three organic lemons and chop it up so that the zest is fine. Once those 30 minutes are up, it's time for bulk fermentation. We're going to be performing three sets of stretch and folds spaced out by 30 minutes. During the first set of stretch and folds, we're going to be adding the blueberries and the lemon zest, and we're going to be adding them for each individual stretch and fold. 
That way they'll be completely well distributed throughout the dough once we're done with the stretch and folds. And now for the second set of stretch and folds. And the third set. After we're done with the third set of stretch and folds, we should do a window pane test to check that the gluten has been properly developed. If it hasn't, you should probably add one or two more set of stretch and folds. Check after each set with a window pane test. When the window pane test passes, uh, put the dough into a suitable container and leave the dough to ferment until it's grown between 30 and 50%. Once the dough has finished fermenting, it's time to divide and pre-shape. Start by pouring out the dough on your unfloured kitchen counter and divide it into two equally sized pieces. Using your bench scraper, flip it over and then from each side of the dough, pull it out a little bit and then fold it in over the dough. Go from all four sides. This creates a tension on the top. And flip over the dough and put the bench scraper behind the dough. Pull it forward so that the dough is pulled down underneath in the front and that creates a taut surface on top. If any blueberries pop out, just pick them off and put them underneath in the back. That way they get into the middle of the dough. Keep going until you have a pretty taut ball. Continue with the other dough ball and uh, let them rest for 15 minutes under a damp dish towel. Now it's a good time to uh, flour your bannetons, spritz them lightly with water and uh, sprinkle in rice flour. Now 
And after the 15 minutes are up, it's time for the final shaping. Flour the top of the doughs with a little bit of flour and flip one of them over. If it still seems to be sticking a little much, you can add a little flour on the edge using a bench scraper and then remove the rest of the flour. Then uh, pull out the dough to sort of a rectangle and fold in the top corners. And then fold in the sides. And then roll the dough a little bit and then use your thumbs to seal it and then roll again. Keep going until you have an oval shaped dough. I usually use my bench scraper to sort of uh, shape the dough a little bit more. So I push in the sides and the, the edges a little bit. Clip it into the banneton and repeat with the other bread. After I shape both breads, I like to uh, stitch them on the back a little bit. That way it creates more surface tension and it helps the oven spring. Then put both breads in plastic bags and put them in the fridge uh, overnight. Next morning, add your Dutch oven to the oven and preheat the oven to 260 degrees Celsius. That's 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it heat for an entire hour so it's completely saturated with heat. Once the hour's up, grab your bread from the fridge and flip it onto a peel with parchment paper on it. Then score your bread and immediately put it into the Dutch oven and close it. Bake for 20 minutes with the lid on. After the 20 minutes are up, remove the lid and turn the oven down to 230 degrees Celsius. That's 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for another 20 to 25 minutes until the bread is deeply caramelized and crunchy on the top. Just remember that if you take out the bread too early, it'll be crunchy at first and then the moisture from inside the bread will creep out into the crust and make it soggy. So it won't be crunchy anymore. So that's why you really have to be sure that the crust is properly dried out. Take the bread out in the oven and turn the oven back to 260 degrees Celsius, 500 degrees Fahrenheit and bake the other bread. Once that is done, take it out of the oven and you have two delicious blueberry lemon sourdough breads. That's how we make blueberry lemon sourdough bread. Now all that's left is looking at it.